Hey Trace, can you say sex gecko five times really fast? I can try. Sex gecko, sex gecko, sex gecko, sex gecko, sex gecko. Yes! Wow, that's impressive. Thanks. Hey everybody, I'm Trace for D News. And I'm Karen, and today we have some great news. Russia is back in control of the Photon Gecko Sex Satellite. For those of you who may not have heard, contact with the satellite, which contains geckos, fruit flies, mushrooms, and bacteria, was lost on July 24th, causing widespread concern about what would happen when it came crashing back down to Earth. That's right, all systems are restored, and the space sex geckos appear to be busy doing what comes naturally to them despite the highly unnatural conditions, which is sexin. These sex reptiles are part of a two-month sexy spaceflight experiment designed to assess the effects of microgravity on many aspects of their sexual behavior. Aside from being fantastically fun to talk about, what is the point in studying gecko space sex? Well, if humans ever hope to colonize the moon or any other planet, we've got to get past many scientific hurdles, one of them being sexual reproduction. We know that microgravity has adverse effects on astronauts who've spent a lot of time in space. Uh, they suffer from bone loss, muscle atrophy, and decreased function of their immune systems. But it's difficult to subject astronauts to a barrage of physiological experiments when they're up in space. First of all, because of ethical concerns, and secondly, because, you know, they're busy with astronaut stuff. Instead of using astronauts as biological guinea pigs, scientists have been using animal systems as models to learn about the potential effects of microgravity on animal physiology. They've experimented on bacteria, sea urchins, nematodes, fish, amphibians, and birds, and so on, and we've learned a lot about how biology behaves in space in this way. We've even done some D-News videos about that, if you want to look them up. But in this case, it's all about the sex. Do you ever notice how nobody talks about sex in space? Yeah. You know, like, have any astronauts giving it a go? Like the good old college try? You know, I mean, I, I wonder if NASA frowns on that kind of thing. We did a D News about that too, actually. Oh, cool. So you can look that one up as well. And since space agencies say there has never been sex in space, it would be really interesting to actually study it. I wonder if they're looking for volunteers <laughs> at all. The thing is, sex might be actually really tough in microgravity. Every action would get an equal and opposite reaction. To get my meaning. Not to mention conception and embryonic development might be hampered by microgravity. After all, animals have all evolved in the presence of Earth's gravitational pull, so in a lot of ways our physiology really depends on. That's right, and studies done on mice have actually confirmed that there are some distinct problems for sexual reproduction in space. A study reported in the journal PLOS One showed that fertilization can occur successfully in microgravity, however it can cause problems for embryonic implantation. And another study in the same journal showed that mouse egg cells don't really mature in microgravity. These findings show that successful sexual reproduction in space for any animal might be impossible without some kind of scientific intervention to combat the adverse effects of microgravity. So in other words, we need the sex gecko research if we want to colonize space, y'all. So what do you think? Should we be sending more animals to space for some sexy times, or is this kind of pushing the boundaries between ethics and science? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe here for more D-News.